But we were close to breaking up one time. Never. I remember I walked out and he would always say that we would have sexy time. We would do it for three days for straight. three days straight, that's what he said. He did it for three minutes. <laughs> You're recording already? Yes. Why me? Why you? Last time I checked, this is the Natalie. And I'm the Dennis part. Yeah, I'm wearing my comfy outfit. Don't care too much about what I look like right now. Dennis is making me beef stew today, so I'm happy. She was like, I'm so sad. I really want you to cook beef stew for me. My mom makes lentils, but Dennis doesn't like to eat lentils. I hate lentils. It tastes like dirt. It's okay to be sad every once in a while. You don't always have to be happy. My life coach actually said people fall into deeper depression when they don't just accept that what they're feeling is normal. You don't have to be happy all the time. This first segment is me making beef stew. I hope you guys enjoy. Instruction said to get beef and then I got beef made for stew and then the next thing the instruction said is don't buy beef made for beef stew. Get normal beef so I fucked up already. First thing you gotta do is actually sear the beef until they're like nice and browned, kind of like these. Almost a whole onion, about four or five cloves of garlic in there, balsamic vinegar, and then I have all the beef on the side. I'm gonna wait for these to get really soft and then I'm gonna add the beef to the pot. Sito forced me to work out today and I feel amazing. If you could only smell this stew, it feels like home. Look at this. Hi guys. Okay, I know I look crazy. Sorry. It's okay. My armpits are really hairy and I'm wearing my bra. So that's just the reality of it. I just wanted to say today I have really been surrendering myself to God. Just in terms of like my anxiety, everything going on. I have been affected by Dennis's grandma's death. The young man that... Uh, died recently Corey I believe is his name by what happened to Kristen and Marcus so much in a world where we're so interconnected now It's not weird to be affected by these stories and by things that people are going through. You know, I do get affected by things that I see online like what happened to Maude Like I get affected. I get affected by all this stuff And so it's kind of piled on like this whole week has just felt like bad news with bad news recently came across Janine I love her Janine and Polo and I have been trying for the longest time to find a way to grow closer to God and like read the Bible. It's not very fun for me. And I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. She does this daily on her Instagram. So do, she does like these live streams. She's been doing a 31 day Proverbs challenge and it's amazing. And I sat with her. I listened to what she was saying. I wrote two entire pages of notes and I just felt like really moved and happy and calm and at peace. Here I am again <laughs> at nighttime doing this because I just want to feel okay with myself and my soul and my spirit has been really down. So if you are looking for someone to, to read the Bible with, I recommend you to go and check out her page. Matter of fact, I'll link her Instagram down below because it's just absolutely amazing. So yeah, I feel very grateful. Dennis has been incredible. Beef stew was awesome. And I'm just, I'm having a good time, but I just wanted to share what I've been doing. Also drinking my little ginger tea and I'm just gonna relax. Hello you guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. What does this vlog hold in store for us? I don't know <laughs> Trying to stop saying that I'm running behind on life because I've heard somewhere that people that say that get heart attacks So I'm trying not to be like that. Dennis is prepping me up about to shoot a video <gasps> I just got Kathleen's new collection in the mail Oh my god, congratulations girl. If you don't know, this is from Kathleen Lights. Yes, Jupiter. It smells nice. It's Lights Liqueur, liqueur. And I have so much respect for her because I know that she went through a falling, Jupiter, baby, you are happy. She went through like a little business learning experience with someone else and she literally got her brand and started it from the ground up again. And I'm so proud of her for that. That's amazing. This is their new nude collection. Oh my God, this ain't food, baby. This ain't food, look at this. These are gorgeous. Muchisimas gracias. Thank you, Kathleen. Don't worry, got the cuisine. Today is a nice and busy. Oh, this light ain't on, girl. Hold up. I'm just gonna work with it. Dennis isn't here. He's gonna set me up. But you know, I'm feeling good when I start to act weird. So we are feeling good. I posted the cutest little thing on Instagram. Little cartoon Jupiter. It's so cute. I'm just gonna show you, okay? Worked on it with my friend Monica. She's amazing, by the way. If you guys need like someone that is an artist, absolutely love her. Oh, hi. I've been searching for you. I have a present for you. Take what you need. Go on. Love, confidence, and the little bee says, I believe in you. Peace. And then it says, I hope this made your day a lot brighter. Little Jupiter. So I'm gonna be throwing him in there every once in a while, you know, just like a cute little virtual love thing. I'm about to shoot a video, which I don't know what I'm shooting. That's the problem. I'm currently in the process of growing my team. It is time. 
so I'm currently in the process of hiring a producer. I've met with someone and I really, really love her. If you are seeing this, I really, really like you. You know it's time to grow whenever you stop enjoying what you're doing. So like for instance, there was a time in my life where I was like, ugh. I don't like editing anymore. So it was like, let's hire an editor. There's a time in my life where it's like, you know, I'd rather, I, I would love to be able to focus my energy on other projects. I still want to be in front of the camera. I still want to do what I'm doing. I need a little bit more assistance in that. So that's where this person comes in. So I'm very, very excited. I hope and I pray that things work out. I'm just so excited. It's such an amazing planner. I always change planners and I just gotta tell you. The Doodle Planner. I think this is what it's called. It's by Amanda Rach Lee. It's incredible. It's honestly been my favorite. So I'm gonna write some stuff in here. I want you guys to see his little derpy face. Oh, why does he look sad today? Um, he could be sad. I'll never have a dog like him again. I want him to die. Sometimes I just think about it and I start crying. Like, do you guys ever do that with your pets? You like think of the last day and what you're gonna say. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. I just had the most amazing pasta and just little salad that Dennis made and I didn't vlog it. I totally forgot. I have so much work left to do per usual, but I'm deciding that I'm just going to take a moment. I've been doing this every single day. I've never actually had like a Bible study group. So I think this is, this kind of feels like a virtual one and I've just been doing it every single day. So I'm about to do that. He literally came up here. And now he's all sad because I'm not paying attention to him. Hello, people. We're back to morning workouts. I woke up early again. After like a month of working out at night, we're back to working out in the morning. Thank you. I feel really good. I'm happy I woke up early. Hello you guys, it's much later in the day. I have literally been feeling so productive today. Not only because I woke up early, got a video done, still 2.43, hello. Like it really helps. Got this whole morning ritual down. It's only the first day, I know, I'm totally hyping myself up. At night, I realized that one thing that helps me is to have a nice, comfy, cozy robe so that when I get out of bed, I almost feel like I'm no clothes. That makes sense. Also, I'm wearing my faux bangs today. I'm obsessed, I love them. Denisito is cooking some meals over there. I'm about to check out what I have to do for the rest of the day. It's gonna be a good day. Time Time for my favorite type of vlogs, the uncomfy vlogs. Are you ready? So I decided that this would be kind of like a fun little series that we would do weekly. First of all, it's easy to do. Second of all, it's fun to do. We get to kind of tell you more about our life and experiences. Come here, show them your beautiful face. Can we put the camera down so that they can see your beautiful face? I want them to see how fat. Oh, like that. Look at the little cheeks. This man is always vacuuming. Nice and sponsor him. Dennis literally hates it whenever I don't brush Jupiter. It's just a full-time job. There is hairs everywhere. If you've ever had a golden retriever, there's a hair. All right, I'm ready for this Q&A. How's that? Hi, I'm Dennis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is his hair, and don't you fuck. Stop. I love his hair long like that. I love that. your hair too. Why don't you just let it out? <laughs> what do you mean, let it why out? Do you, why are you holding it's it back? It's put together right now. My own put <laughs> together ah. too. Welcome to another uncomfy Q&A. We are excited. Today we don't have snacks. Please don't ask about my size. This time. <laughs> that was weird last time. I'm over those kinds of questions. They're gonna get spicier as we go. Okay, who made the first move? I don't remember. Was it you or me? It was both. What did you do? I did, people. I wore the pants. I, I said hello. I think I followed you on Facebook. I followed you on Facebook first. And then I followed you. But guys, we had already met previously. This wasn't like just like a thing of, you know, whatever. Anyway. It's digital romance. Yeah. Do you wish you were more active than you are now? Active? <laughs> what? That is always a no, no comment. comment. How boring. To that. I feel like people are gonna have more kids <laughs> in this time. I really do. I feel like this is gonna be the baby boomer time for everyone else. Is it quarantine? Yes. Longest time in bed. Sexy time. Wink, 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 wink. wink. Here's my story. He would always say that we would have sexy They're time. We're gonna do it for three days for straight. Three days straight. That's what he used to say. We did it for three minutes. <laughs> do you watch corn together? No. Do you watch it by yourself? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> I actually have a rule. In why a do why would I watch corn? Um, okay. We eat corn. I don't believe in watching corn. The reason is it sets unrealistic expectations of things and it puts things into your own mind Why that you should not be doing questions? in your real life, people. So that is the holy Natalie speaking. <laughs> Have you ever called Dennis daddy? Y'all are freaky. No, never. I feel like that name is reserved for my dad. Like that's kind of weird. I don't even call my dad daddy. I just say dad, puppy. Oh no, I did say, I do say daddy to my dad. But in Spanish. 
but a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jupiter, we're doing a Q&A, damn it. Wow, that's can, a great Can you set it up? <laughs> Have you ever thought of breaking up? No. Have you? When? <laughs> we never broke up, but we were close to breaking up one time. Never. I remember I walked out. Wait, what? At the club. Oh, because she was delusional saying that I was staring at a bunch of chicks and it wasn't even <laughs> Denisito and me, I was 16 when I started dating him. He was 17. I feel like you had wandering eyes. Like you would be walking with me at the mall holding my hand and a cute girl would pass by Not and we would look true. back. You guys know that meme? Natalie, Natalie yeah. got drunk one day and kissed some dude. <laughs> Okay, tell me. All no, you gotta no, no, know, no. people. No, no, this is the thing. Natalie had like a phase where she felt like everything I did was like I did. geared towards looking yeah. at other girls. I right? have to tell you. That was not true. Okay. Yeah, I was like 17, insecure, and just like going through it. What's but he did on? have wandering eyes. I will say that. No. Okay. Did Dennis ever have an ex that you were worried about or jealous of? No. Did you did you ever uh, get jealous or worried of an ex that I had? I thought we'd get attacked. Like they're yeah. all kind of crazy. Oh yeah, they're crazy. That's <laughs> Buck wild guy. I had to change my number from someone because they were calling me at 3 a.m. just for reading on the phone. Who has the worst breath in the morning? You. You. You have bad breath. Do I really? You have cavity breath. Bye -bye. Play, play that Kim Kardashian clip where she can smell cavities. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Literally got a call from the dentist today saying that they can reschedule your appointment that got canceled no! because of coronavirus. Do you shave in quarantine? The last time you thought about babies. I don't. I haven't either. How do you feel when Dennis farts? <laughs> you smile and sniff it. No, I don't. <laughs> Is Dennis good in bed? I'm so sorry to ask. Next question. <laughs> All I want to say is I wouldn't know because he's the only person I've ever been with, so yeah. he's probably really bad. <laughs> I must suck and you don't know. <laughs> I have FIFA players I need to be selling. Let's get this over with. Ask Dennis if he is cheating on you. Are you cheating on me? Let me think about it. Maybe. It's time doing it. Little story time. So we were taking a flight to the Bahamas one day, <laughs> right? And like, it just happened. Guys, we've never been to the Bahamas. The plane. You don't remember? That wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> we did it mid-air and skydiving. We were skydiving. I was like, oh my god, in the air. What? The Forgot to. A lot of faith-related questions actually. A lot of people ask. Go so ahead. they want to know: Is Dennis Christian? No. How do you compromise with two different religions? You do you. I do me. What is you? What is you? you know a thing here. Yeah. I'm complex. Maybe in the next video we can talk about it. Okay. I love Dennis though, he's so amazing and I love, I'm also actually just trying to find my own relationship with God and I deal with at you. night, actually, we, sh we I share what I've learned and he looks I'm over open. things, I'm open so it's very things. nice. That's wow, it for this Q&A, yeah, yeah. If you guys would like us in the... If you want to be featured in the next Q&A. Not featured, no one's featured because this is anonymous. If you want to be anonymously featured, subscribe to the channel and also Subscribe to my Instagram and follow me on Twitter. He never freaking posts. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't watched the last three uncomfy Q&As, we will link them down below. We post new vlogs three times a week, sometimes once. They're very uncomfortable. Go check them out. Hope you enjoy. I get asked lots of weird stuff. Pirito. Um. Do you ever look at corgi butts? <gasps> Chupirito, do you look at corgi butts? <gasps> he looks at corgi butts <gasps> online. <gasps> Jupiter. Corgibutt.com. <gasps> Jupiter. That's I me. saw it on your search history. No, Jupiter. Bad boy.